whiteboard material. Spurrier made those comments on Friday. Early first quarter, Patrick Nix, the play fake, hits Thomas Bailey, 32 yards, great concentration on the catch, 7-0 Auburn, first time Florida had been behind all season. So Bowden urges on the defense. Fred Taylor gets stuffed. Brian Robinson, what does he do? He rips off Taylor's helmet. Next play, Terry Dean drops back. He's looking for Jack Jackson in the end zone. He's picked off by Robinson at the Auburn one-yard line. Dean was intercepted four times in just one half. Danny Werfel gets up, ready to come out of the bullpen. Early on, fourth quarter, Auburn up 22-20. Werfel going to pass, hits Ike Hillard, who barrels over Auburn's Ken Alvis for the 17-yard touchdown. 26-22 Florida. They failed on the two-point conversion. Auburn's next possession. Knicks drops back, dumps one over the middle of Andy Fuller, who runs over Ben Hanks and Anton Lott for the 30-yard Auburn touchdown. 29-26 Auburn. Steve Spurrier sends the Florida offense back onto the field. Werfel going to go back to the air. Steps up. Hitting Jackson again, the 28-yard touchdown pass, 33-29 Florida. It's Jackson's 24th career TD catch. That ties Willie Jackson's school record. Florida's next possession. This is a third and 15. Werfel picked off by Robinson. He returns it to the Auburn 45. Robinson had three interceptions in the game. Here's a big play for Auburn, though. On fourth and 10. Fourth and 10, the Florida 42. Knicks to Thomas Bailey, a 15-yard pass for the first down to keep it alive. That set this up. Got the big rush on Knicks. He floats one in the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown, Auburn. Sanders caught it. 36-33 Auburn after the PAT. One last chance for Florida. The double pass in the end zone. Backup quarterback Eric Kresser's throw falls harmlessly away. Terry Bowden ecstatic and undefeated at the same time. 36-33 Auburn gets it done. Six lead changes in this one. Four in the fourth quarter. Auburn fullback Joe Frazier put it this way. When you're a little kid and you play king of the mountain, where are you when you knock him off? Don't try answering it. It's a rhetorical question. However, our Brett Haber was looking for answers when he searched out Terry Bowden. It's unbelievable. I can't believe the effort we gave. All of our players, all of our fans. I'll see everybody at Tumor's Corner. Wait a second. Patrick Nick said this is your bowl game. You don't have one this year. Was that this big a game for you? It was our Super Bowl. If we were going to have a chance at a national championship, we were lucky enough to get the number one team. Everybody wanted them to be number one. There was no fluke today. We beat him fair enough. Spurrier criticized your schedule. Now you've beaten him twice. I guess he can't criticize it anymore. I, I, I don't know. He, he's, he's probably right. One last question. You beat the number one team in the country in their backyard. What does that do to Auburn's race? Got to make us number one if you ask me. Well, it was a tough one. They made one more play than we did. Uh, we sort of messed it up when we had the lead, and they made a fourth and ten. When they made that, I knew it. <laughs> when they made that fourth and ten, I, I knew we might be in a little trouble because that was the big play of the game. Auburn, idle next week. That should give them time to avoid the old letdown theorem as they took on Kansas State. Not a running back conundrum, though. That's the nation's leading rusher, Lawrence Phillips, for the touchdown. Huskers up 7-0. Chad May getting advice from his coach, Bill Snyder. And the advice, well, it works. Kansas State on the move, second quarter. May finds Mitch running, running wide open in the end zone. Nebraska holding on to a one-point lead, 7-6. Nebraska driving in the fourth. Brooke Berenger hands off to Jeff Makovica. Nebraska wins, although their tactics were questioned. I don't want to talk bad about them. You know, they're, they're a great football team, but they do play dirty. They, you know, they try to poke my eyeball out once. That's when I came off the field, sticking their hands, trying to gouge my eyes. You know, grabbing me in other places I'm sure you don't want to hear about. And, um, you know, we don't need that. You can go out there and play with it without doing that, that cheap stuff. Words from Chad May, the K-State quarterback. Nebraska has now won 21 straight regular season games, 26th straight over Kansas State. And speaking of streaks, seven consecutive 100 rushing games for Lawrence Phillips. Number four and undefeated, that's Colorado at home for Oklahoma. As seen here on ESPN, Adrian Karsten trying to keep up with the Buffalo. Couldn't keep up with Rashawn Salam, no question about that. Salam explodes through the hole, turns on the burners for 34 yards. Next play, Salam would go in from seven yards out for the score. Still in the first, Salam this time on the right side goes in from his lucky number seven. Had four touchdowns all in the first half of the Buffaloes. They have title hopes as they pound Oklahoma 45 to 7. Salam finished with 161 yards in those four scores on 25 carries. Cordell Stewart only put it up 13 times in this one, completed 10 of them for 97 yards. Craig? That's what is all about. Michigan didn't get it going until the third quarter. Collins, Tyrone Wheatley, it's his house. We play by his rules. 67 yards for the score. He had another TD later. 
Cuts Penn State's lead 16 to 10. To the fourth quarter, tied at 24 apiece. Penn State driving. Watch Bobby Ingram. Just get the toenail inbounds. Oh, makes the catch. Next play, Kajana Carter breaks through the hole. 15-yard line. Carter, 165 yards in the game. Kerry Collins would go back to the air. Bobby Ingram again. Touchdown Penn State with less than three minutes to go. Penn State by seven. Would it be Michigan's turn to win it at the end of the game? Look at Tyrone Wheatley. Keep his balance hurdle cut back. How good is Tyrone Wheatley? Carries 30 yards to midfield, 144 yards on the day. From there, Todd Collins went for the home run. Amani Toomer. He's open. Can't make the catch. It would come down to third down. And that that's a couple inches, I think, for the Wolverines. The handoff goes to not Ty Wheatley. Tim, Bianca Batuka stopped, denied. On fourth down, Collins is picked off, and Penn State wins despite a tremendous game by that man, Ty Wheatley. The last time Penn State started 6-0 was their national championship season in 86. Kajana Carter is closing in for Tennessee. Third quarter tied at three, Jay Barker. Hits Marcel West. Avoids two defenders, 29 yards for the score, 10 to three tied. Fourth quarter, 13-10 Tennessee. Sherman Williams, the tied 60-0 when he scores. He scores 17-13 tied. Peyton Manning, the true freshman, fired up, must lead Tennessee down the field. Finds Joey Kent for 12. Then it's Kent again for 18, and got him down as far as the seven. But on fourth and three, incomplete. Tennessee loses 17-13. Sherman Williams rushes for 142 yards. It's the eighth victory in the last nine years for Alabama over Tennessee. Jay Barker finished 10 of 19, 128 yards, and is now 31-1 as a star in State Prairie View. Steve McNair personally dismantled Prairie View. Hits his brother Tim McNair for the 18-yard score. McNair threw for five TDs. He also ran. How good is Steve McNair is the question. Untouched for 40 yards, ran for three scores in a 69-14 drubbing. We're not here to say who should get the Heisman. That's not our job. That's not what we do. But we offer these numbers. Through seven games compared to Heisman winner Charlie Ward, also running and throwing quarterback, Eric McNair has substantially more passing and rushing yards and more TDs. 15 more combined Aaron Ground. But of course, Charlie, fourth quarter, Jamal Willis through the air with the greatest of ease, scores after a two-point conversion. BYU leads 21-14. Late in the fourth, big hit by Brian McGee. Get on the pigskin. Notre Dame recovers. Tom Krug in the quarterback, the Irish. Ron Paulus sacked four times and dizzy. Fourth and 10, Krug incomplete to Derek Mays. Off his hands, off with the headset for Lou. Lavelle Edwards going to have to shower after this one. BYU wins it. Notre Dame should now fall out of the top 20 and maybe out of the polls. They haven't been unranked since 1986. Holtz's first G. Pac-10. Dick Toby and Wildcats looking for their eighth win in the last 11 games versus the Cougars. Fourth quarter, 10-7. Carter fumbles. States Mark Fields recovers. 30 seconds left. Cougars sophomore walk-on kicker Tony Truett in to try a nine-yard field goal. Delay a game. Mike Bryce can't believe it. It's now a 44-yard field goal attempt. Tony Truant, the sophomore walk-on. Misses left. The zona prevails 10 to 7. Third straight year. The game has been decided by three points. Steve. All right, Craig. More from the top 25. Arizona State and Washington. First quarter, Damon Heward. Straight drop back down the left sideline for Ernie Conwell. 34-yard touchdown, 7-0 Huskies. Second quarter, ASU's Jason Verdugo. Rolls right, throws back across his body. Picked off by Inc. Aliaga. 23-yard touchdown return. They missed the PAT, 16-0 Huskies. What about Napoleon, you say? We'll tell you, Kaufman, a 7-yard touchdown burst up the middle. Washington rolls 35-14, 7 all. Clemson and Duke. Fred Goldsmith looking for Duke's first 6-0 start since 1952. Clemson's Raymond Priester, the 23-yard touchdown run to tie it at 7. Fourth quarter tied at 13. The block. Ray Farmer on Nelson Welch recovers. Michigan State, early third quarter. 7-3 Michigan State. That's about to change. Eddie George takes the pitch. See you later. 76 yards up the sideline. Longest run by a Buckeye since 1981. He had 29 carries, 219 yards. The Buckeyes roll. 
two other top 25 scores to report. North Carolina rushed for 335 yards, scored on seven of eight possessions to whip Maryland, and Virginia Tech held off East Carolina. Oh, Vanny, Georgia. Vanny pumped up for the dogs. Look at the concentration by Eric Vance as he picks off Eric Zaire. Con look at the concentration. Second quarter, huge day for Vanny's Jermaine Johnson, bursting down the sideline, 45 yards. He had 177 on the day, 43-30, Vandy wins. Louisville and Army, 23-22 Army in the fourth. Louisville's Anthony Shelman goes in from 14 yards. Cards go up 29-23, but Army comes right back. The elusive Ronnie Magata under pressure. Moves forward, the flip, Joe Ross. 30-29 Army wins. West Virginia at Pitt, fourth quarter, minute 43 left, tied at 33. Pitt's John Ryan to Chad Askew. That's a score, Pitt down by one. They would go for two. Ryan running the option. And watch what he does. Good ball fake. Sneaks in, 41-40 Pitt. The last chance for the Mountaineers and QB Chad Johnston. This is heavy drama. This is excitement. And here it comes. Johnston moves forward and fires downfield again. There's Abraham to pull it in. Abraham is again a touchdown. Holy moly. A West Virginia touchdown. Good Lord. Stanford at USC, Trojan QB Rob Johnson leaves the game in the second quarter after spraining his right ankle. But the Trojans okay behind the strong legs of tailback Sean Walters. Off and running for 61 yards. He carried the ball 31 times, 234 yards, two TDs. Trojans win. Steve. Craig, other scores of interest from the day and night that was in college football. Battle of the winless in the Pac-10. Winless no more. That's Oregon State. They get it done. Oregon tailbacks Ricky Whittle and Dino Filiaw. Each rush for over 100 yards. The Ducks did it to Cal 23-7. In the SEC, Derek Tate and Chris Jones for a 26-yard score with just over a minute left. Miss